What's going on? This is Legend Nova all about the motherfucking kicks. But subscribe to the channel if you like what I'm fucking putting out. If you're not liking what I'm fucking putting out, put that L on the fucking damn bell. And show some love if you're liking the video, man. And thanks for all the subscribers that are watching my videos. If you're watching them, if you're not, it is what it is. But um, we're going to drink this Snapple real quick. Man, we're going to talk about the NBA. And that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the last dance, the Chicago Bulls. I'm, I'm, I'm a Chicago Bulls fan since 1990. As a little kid, my, you know what I'm saying. My mom was a Jordan fan. My uncles was a Jordan fan. My other uncle was a New York fan. He hated Chicago. You know what I'm saying. Rest in peace to my uncle Nate. But anyway, Michael Jordan was a savage, and he he was the best man. And I blame Chicago. The owner and the fucking coach. Not the coach. Sorry for Josh. I didn't say coach. The GM. The fat ass nigga looked like the penguin who was jealous of Phil Jackson, Scotty Pittman, and and I'm gonna say Dennis Robin because Dennis Robin got there late. He was only there for three and a half years. But if your fucking team is fucking winning, why will you wanna destroy the fucking team, you fat fuck? Let's pray for this nigga. He's dead. He died a couple years ago. He's burning in hell right now because he fucked up the Chicago Bulls. We could have got seven fucking rings. We would have definitely beat them Spurs. But we're going to get back to that situation. The last dance. Dennis Robin is one of the baddest entertainers in the game. The greatest rebounder ever in the game. The motherfucker rebound and play defense. That nigga will give you 20-20... 20, 22 rebounds a game. Give you eight points, five assists. He did it all. He didn't need a score. Because he get them rebounds, pass the ball to Jordan. All good. Pass the ball to Scotty. Pass it to Cool Coach. Steve Kerr. Three. That's how we played. The triangle was the shit. And that, a lot of NBA players need to put that shit back in their fucking shit. You feel me? I always been a Chicago fan. I still got my Chicago Bulls stuff for the 90s. I'm not throwing that shit away. I don't give a fuck. I still got all the basketball cars. I ain't throwing none of my Chicago Bulls. When you Chicago for life, you're Chicago for life. I got a tattoo, but it's in the back of my back, so I can't show you that shit. But I'm a Chicago Bulls fan. You know, I was real, real mad with the motherfuckers split up the team over some fucking jealousy. It's just fucking stupid. How you gonna tell Phil Jackson this is gonna be your last season with them and we still won a championship jordan did it all by himself scotty Pittman had to do the surgery and all that shit but we still fucking won the jags the, the utah jags if jordan wasn't there they would have won two rings in a row they would have been just like the rockets won two in a row because jags was utah jags was nasty carl Malone scoring 30, 28 points a game john stopped the 17 points 12 was sis jeff horner said scoring 17 points they had a good team man Brian Russell, 15 points a game. Had a good fucking team, man. But we just was too good. When you got Jordan on your team, you can't lose. You know, I miss the old basketball back in the 90s. I was so young watching basketball. I just used to see my uncles. They would go crazy with the Knicks lose. Knicks had, the New York Knicks had so many battles. They had battles with my team, Chicago. They had battles with Detroit. They had battles with the Pistons. I mean, not the Pistons, the Pacers. They had battles with Miami Heat, with with Pat Roddy left, left them for dead, and went over to Miami. Mad fucking battles New York had. New York Knicks, just to look at the New York Knicks now is so fucking sad because in the nineties they was fucking doing it. They just couldn't beat my team Chicago because we were so good. But if Chicago wasn't there, Patrick Ewing would have had at least two rings. Carl Charles Broccoli would have won the championship at 93. Trust me on that shit. You know what I mean? But, you know, my team is just so good. We just kept on winning. You can't stop us, man. You can't fucking stop us. And those it, man. Don't think I'm going to let this corona fuck me up for eating my food. You know what I'm saying? Because I do got my mother. I had to order this shit online. But look how big this shit is, man. Had to get this, man. I'm about to tear this shit down on break right now. That's when I'm shooting this video about the last dance. 
Dennis Robin, if social media was in the 90s, Dennis Robin would have had 100 million subscribers on Instagram, YouTube, and everything. Because that nigga was ahead of his time. He was ahead of his time. If social media was back then, Dennis Robin may be in jail for life right now. Because that nigga fucked every white chick in America. That nigga fucked Madonna. He fucked Karma Letcha. He fucked... I forgot the other white bitch's name. He fucked up. Because black chicks didn't want to give him no love. So he had to go get him some white chicks. And he had some beautiful white women. So I'm not going to say he didn't. Fucking Madonna. At that time, Madonna, she she worth what? What, 400 million? At that time, she maybe was worth like 200 million or some shit like that. Now she like four, maybe four or 500 million. You fucking Madonna. Platinum albums at the platinum albums. Then Carmen Lesha was a movie star. She was on the, um, I forgot what show she was on. Rape, uh, that, that, that fucking, that fucking LA show. Can't think of the name of it. And she was cute. So, for him to just do what he had to do, black girls didn't want him, so he had to cross the border. So, but he got rich, then black girls want to fuck with him. No, he said, no, y'all ain't want to fuck with me back then, now you can't fuck with me now. You know, Dennis Robin was homeless. Dennis Robin didn't get in the NBA until he was 26 years old. He got in late. Say he would have gotten in the league when he was 21. Oh, my God. Like, he had a good career where he had, like, 15 seasons, 16 seasons. He would have had, like, if he would have played 20 seasons. Dennis Robin, when he's with Detroit, he was a good kid. He got his rebounds. He beat you up. Slam you on the floor. That's how Detroit played. It was dirty, nigga. They didn't, you ain't getting no dunks playing with them niggas. They gonna cock you in the head. That's how they did. You know what I'm saying? That basketball is not like that no more. You can't even touch a nigga now. You touch a nigga, any, you touch a nigga like this, it's foul. You know what I'm saying? To see Jordan win all these championship niggas be saying, oh, Jordan, he didn't win against nobody. Nigga, he beat L.A. Before Magic Johnson caught the HIV. Beat L.A. They had Jays Worley, him, Tony Divas, all the good players on that team. The team was nasty. Jordan was just more hungry. Scotty was more hungry. Horace Grant was more hungry. Bill Cartwright was more hungry. B.J. Armstrong hitting them threes. Patson hitting them threes. 92. The Blazers. Jordan hitting six three-pointers in a row in the NBA Finals. Killing them. And giving you the shove, like, hmm. You know what I'm saying? So don't hate. Don't hate. Don't hate. Don't hate. You know what I'm saying? The Blazers had some good players on that team. They don't get a lot of credit. The Blazers was nasty. If you go and check with Clyde Russell joined the NBA in 1982, every year they went to a different round. Blazers was good. Every year they was climbing up. And they got to the finals. So don't say the Blazers wasn't good. Blazers always been good. They just can't win. They can't never win the big games. Back in 2002, the Blazers with Scottie Pittman, fucking, fucking Sheen Wallace, and all them niggas was on that team. Fucking Damon Stoudemire's. The team was nasty. They got robbed. The Blazers got robbed. Game six, they got robbed against the Lakers. They should have won that shit. They should have won and they went to the fucking finals. If they would have won, they would have won a suit. They would have won the championship. So the Blazers always been good. They just can't win. Then he played Phoenix. Nasty team. Charles Barkley. Kevin Johnson. The raper. Raping chicks and shit because he's the mayor now. Fucking um Dan Marty. They had good players on that team. Phoenix was deep. Their bench was deep. The top five was deep. So y'all niggas could suck a dick. 2006. Seattle Supersonics. Gary Payton. Sean Kemp. Detlef Shrimp. Sam Perkins. I can keep going on and on and on and on and on. Team was nasty. But Jordan said no. We won 72 games in 10. We got to win this shit. And we won. Jordan only scored 28 points a game that game that shit. But who gives a fuck? Sean Kemp, the rain man, was busting. Gary Payton was busting. All the niggas were busting, but we just was too good. 97. Jordan had a flu. Good series. Jazz played good. Jazz. The Rockets supposed to Rockets would have made it to the finals. If John stopped and hit that fucking three at the buzzer. Good serious. Utah Jazz was good. Every fucking year they won 60 games or 55 games. 
They finally got to the big lead. They went to the finals twice. They just didn't win it. Jordan won in the morning. Carmelo missed a few foul line shots. Thank God for that shit. We won. Then the owner want to split the team up. Talk about whatever the GM want to do, he can do. Johnny, Qu fuck that shit. You the owner. Then you didn't want to pay Scotty Pittman. How the fuck you going to give him? Oh, he signed a contract. It doesn't matter. You should have gave the nigga a fucking extension. Scotty should have been making at least $10 million a year back then. It's so sad he had to go to the Rockets and get a $70 million contract. That's sad. You give him, He getting all these fucking championships. Y'all can't pay him. And then you get mad at him when y'all talking about, oh, he going to get surgery on a couple of times. It's nothing wrong, but that would have did the same fucking thing. And then Jordan talked about he's selfish. Jordan, it wasn't for Scottie Pittman. You won't have no fucking reins. So you need to shut your mouth, Jordan. I love you, my nigga. I love you. You, 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 you you're a grimy nigga. You don't give a fuck about the blacks. Now you do. But the point is, Jordan, you my man. I'm not saying nothing wrong. But don't say Scotty was selfish. Dennis Robin said he didn't talk to them niggas. He went to do his job and got the fuck done. And that's how you're supposed to do. And they won three rings. We could have won four. But niggas want to split the team up. But I'm out of here, man. The last dance was good. Episode three and four is going to be by Dennis Robin coming up this week. Um, stay tuned and watch it, man. We'll do another video about that shit on Monday where we watch the whole thing. But subscribe to the channel. Let you know all about the kicks. And I'm about to get on this fool. Have a blessed day. And keep the gloves on. Funky dog head, bitch. How dare you try to tarnish my motherfucking homeboy's reputation, punk motherfucker. Respect the family and back off. Bitch, before we come get you.